Now we're gonna get started with the fun part, which is charging customers for the products that they wanna buy and creating our cart so users can add items to it and remove items from it. The first thing that we're gonna do is bring in Stripe. So you'll need to have an account at stripe.com. You can click on the Start Now button to register. If you're just creating a Stripe account, make sure of a couple of things. First of all, make sure that you verify your email address that's associated with your account. And additionally, make sure that you go up to the top left-hand corner and create a new account. You need to have a business name for your account to actually start accepting charges, even test charges. Once you have both of those things, we're going to select the option to get our API keys. We're going to first be using our test API keys. In production, you can switch to live API keys. Note that you need to activate your account in order to get them. You need to provide more information, but just for the purposes of testing, these are gonna work exactly like they would in production. This is going to consist of grabbing both a publishable key and a secret key. And the publishable key is what we're going to need now, but I'd recommend adding both of them to our project at this point. So first, click to copy your publishable key, and we can head to our app component, and this is where we're going to set up Stripe to connect it with our React app. And what we'll need to import is load Stripe from at Stripe slash Stripe dash JS. And using this function to load the Stripe script from their servers, we can paste in the publishable key. Note that you can also, if you want to, use an env file direct with, directly within the root of your client folder. Note that it has to be prefixed with react-app for it to be injected, but I, I believe it's fine just to include it like this. It is going to be public, and we are gonna put in a variable called stripe promise. Now, within our query client provider, we'll provide this cart provider component, which is going to come from use shopping cart. So we're gonna connect Stripe with our use shopping cart package. Use shopping cart is really great for working with Stripe and it makes interacting with it a lot easier. It gives us, as the name implies, some useful hooks. One useful hook in particular, use shopping cart, that's gonna give us all of the data that we need and going to allow us to very easily create a shopping cart and interact with it that is hooked up to directly to Stripe. So with our cart provider, we need to include an opening and a closing tag. So we'll add that around browser router and we need to include a few props. First one is mode and that's gonna be set to checkout session. In other words, we're going to be using an API to create checkout sessions. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Stripe, the Stripe prop is set to Stripe Promise, and Currency is set to USD. So that's all that we need in order to set up Stripe on the client and for setting it up on the server because we're going to have some server endpoints, some routes that allow us to create these checkout sessions. We're going to need a couple of things. First of all, we're going to be using the package .env to load a .env file, the values from it. So after we require .env, we need to call this method config to load those into our routes file. And we don't have an env file at the moment within our project. So we want to create it within the root of our project. And this is where we're going to be putting the secret key. So we can just click this button right here to reveal the test key. I'm not going to do that. And all we need to do once we copy it is we just need to put it as equal to the value Stripe API secret, this environment variable. So we say Stripe API secret is equal to, and then all you need to do is reveal and copy the test key and paste it in right here and save it. 
And once you've done that, we'll have Stripe totally set up within our application, and we can start using it, interacting with the Stripe API on both our React client and in our Node API.